The equity markets in China plus Hong Kong and also in India were the high flyers of the last year. Now we see a tough consolidation in all of the emerging markets. What would you say, is this a buying opportunity for long-term investors? Well, most emerging markets I have sold out of, and some of them I've owned for 20, 25 years, they were all very overexploited. I've not sold out of China, but others I've sold out of. There are too many people exploiting emerging markets right now. I, if I'm right, there's going to be a better chance to buy emerging markets sometime in the next year or two. I hope I'm smart enough, to, if it happens, to, to do something, to buy, buy some, some of them back. That's my plan. Uh, I have not sold any Chinese shares ever. China is the next great country in the world, as far as I'm concerned. I continue to. I bought more Chinese shares last week. I mean, time gets confusing, but recently I bought some more Chinese shares. It has come down a lot. Hopefully, it'll come down some more, and so I can buy some more. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sell. I'm, I hope I never have to sell my Chinese shares. If China turns into a bubble, then I'll have to sell because bubbles end badly. But let's hope that the government in China is smart enough to prevent bubbles. So is there a possibility of a bubble in China? There's always a possibility of a bubble everywhere. Germany, France, Australia, America, you can have bubbles anywhere. There is a possibility the market was going up at one point, like, looking like it could turn into a bubble. Fortunately, it's had a big correction. It came down 30, 30%, say. It's corrected. Uh, let's hope that that's, it's, it's going to continue to go up like this. That's, that's what I hope and expect in China. Things that go up like this go down like this. So let's hope that it continues to go up like this. I've heard that you already sold your house in New York and moved with your family to Singapore. Let's talk about the real estate stocks in Asia. Is this a buying opportunity as well? Well, stocks are real estate itself. Uh, stocks obviously depend on the management. Chinese real estate has been overextended and overheated. The government's trying to cool it off. I wouldn't buy Chinese real estate or Chinese real estate stocks. That would probably apply to Hong Kong as well. Other parts of Asia have not been so buoyant. They have, haven't had this great boom that they've had in China and other places. So yes, in some places, if you find good management or good locations, you can probably buy real estate in Asia. Certainly better to buy real estate in Asia than in some parts of America. China is growing very fast, as we all know. But economies of other countries in Asia, for instance, uh, Indonesia, is also in a good shape. Which countries would you keep an eye on as well besides China? Well, if you know a lot about Indonesia, yes. But, I mean, most people can't find Indonesia on a map, you know, much less spell Indonesia. So, no, unless you know a lot about anything, you should not be investing there. But Vietnam has a great future. Malaysia may have a good future. Singapore is certainly a great success story. It looks like Taiwan and China will have peace. So if that's the case, Taiwan is going to be a spectacular place to invest. Uh, I think that South Korea and North Korea will be unifying much sooner than other people seem to think it will. So there are opportunities. Japan, there's some great opportunities in Japan. Yes, if you do your homework, there are plenty of places in Asia where one could invest. What is your opinion about Africa? Well, Africa is a natural resource-based continent, so I mean, they don't make many Toyotas or, or Volkswagens in, in Africa, but they do have a lot of copper and raw materials and things like that. Commodities are in a bull market, so most African countries are going to do much better. You do have to be careful about the leadership, as you do with any country, but if you find countries that are opening up with sound leadership and lots of natural resources, some of them are going to make fortunes. Big fortunes are going to come out of Africa in the next 10 or 15 years. Thank you very much for this very, very interesting interview.